We are right in the middle of tax season, and for a lot of people, the money you're getting back is spent even before you get it. News 8's Laura Hutchinson is helping you stretch your dollar with why you don't want to act too fast. It can be exciting to get money back this time of year, and maybe in your mind you already know what you want to spend it on, but there are a number of reasons why you should slow down those plans so you don't get caught spending more than you really need to. Tax time is here, and while that big return may have you dreaming of finally getting that new car or electronic device, don't be so quick to hand your money over. The state's commissioner of consumer protection says they see a lot of complaints this time of year involving taxes and purchases. So before you do any buying, do some research. So you're buying something online, and it might look really cheap uh, through this particular website. But then the hidden charge is all the shipping fees or what it would cost you to return the item. Find out what the shipping costs are and your timeline to return. Also, make a thoughtful choice. Take the time to research products and reviews. Same goes for your tax preparer. If you haven't filed yet, you need to trust the person you're handing your personal information over to, even if that means spending a little more money on a licensed preparer. Be very careful about uh, where you store your personal information. Be very careful about who you give it to and how you give it. Obviously, do not respond to texts, to emails, to you know, unsolicited phone calls. Remember to shred documents you don't need and those that you do keep in a safe place. Harris says you can never be too careful. Many cases of identity theft involve family members or friends. Here's something else to keep in mind. A lot of things like cars and other big ticket items don't go on sale this time of year because they know you have the money to spend. So it may not be a bad idea to save it for a while, pay off some bills, and then look into buying those items well after tax season ends. Helping you stretch your dollar, I'm Laura Hutchinson, News 8.